what better way to have a small little talk than in your car to yourself, right? Uh, my name is Chris Stefanczyk. I graduated from Stetson University in 2005 with a degree in chemistry. I went on to work on my doctorate at University of Florida in chemistry. Uh, I left, didn't quite work for me. But I went back to the land, I started teaching, became a janitor, and also started my own company. Uh, I'm still teaching, although my job title has changed. I create standardized assessments now for Volusia County through the science department for 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and biology. I also help with the chemistry and physics, so kind of interesting. What better way to uh, talk about inspired learning than to have someone who measures the learning gains kids have in our district? Maybe, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, inspiration in, in, in learning is a very individualized thing. Uh, it can't be globalized in, in any measure or any sort, at least as far as I've seen in my years of teaching and experience. Uh, it depends very much so on why they want to learn, and they may not even know why that is. You know, not so long ago, we didn't want to know things. I mean, we weren't supposed to know things, you know, if we listened to the clergy or, or whatever it is, the kings. But things have changed now. Society is different. We question everything. We're all scientists in our own regard. But the trick is, why do we want to know what we want to know? And when we know it, what are we going to do with it? And most of the time, people who ask these questions or who ask questions in general, they don't even know those answers. They don't know why they want to know it. And they sure don't know what they're going to do with it when they hit it. But if you stop for a minute and ask them, why? Why do you want to know? What are you going to do with it? Let me know. I want to see your inspiration. They're going to be just as amazed as you are with their response uh, as they are themselves. Well, they're going to, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's pretty cool. You see their eyes light up. Oh, an epiphany. The trick is to ask people what their inspiration is and really sit down and think about it. Because that's what you have to do. It's that metacognition. Why do I want to know this? And that's what we don't do. And that's, as teachers, we don't do with our students. How can we individualize something when we don't know why they want to learn it anyway? Is it to please us? Is it for survival, self-motivation? Don't know. And they don't know. But that's my talk. Just ask a question. Why do you want to learn? And what are you going to do with it when you learn it? What's your inspiration? Let me know.